Hey, y'all. <laughs> Recently, I was having lunch with some older religious women. You know, church-going women. Y'all know I go to church, you know. But I also am Dr. Alicia the Preacher, too. You know what I'm saying? But these are the old school church going women. They're in their like 60s. They're older than me. I'm 53. And they're at least 10 years older than I am. Okay. So we're all sitting at lunch. And, uh, and they're talking about what all they're not going to do. They talking about what they not going to do. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was like, really? I just shut my mouth. Okay. I'm willing to try almost anything once. At least try once. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, almost anything once. You know. Thank God most men are not that adventurous. <laughs> Most men are not that adventurous. No matter what they say, they are not that adventurous. I'm just like, okay. So, it's easy to spread stuff, you know, kinky stuff out over your entire life. Always has something to pull out your bag that you ain't done before. You know, men are leaders and teachers you know, at least that's what we're taught. <laughs> you know, I mean, who are most of the teachers in school? Are they men? But anyway, once you turn 18, men are the leaders and teachers once we all turn 18. So, if that's the case, then, you know, they need to know that we're willing to follow them. You know, they need to know that we're willing to follow them. We need to be like sheep. There's usually many sheep with one shepherd. And even when just one sheep goes astray, guess what that shepherd does? He leads the other 99 together. They're trained. And he go after that one. Because he don't want any of his sheep to be lost. He don't want his competitors to win. Okay. I'm just saying. And what are the sheep? The sheep do not have to be many women. It don't have to be. Can it be? Yeah. King, what? Solomon? King Solomon had about, I don't know, 900 women or something. So yeah, your sheep can be women, but they don't have to be. It can be employees, children, you know, a few wives, you know, things like that. Diversify, buy your own, diversify your sheep and don't lose not one. What man can afford to lose his following. 
foolish ones. <laughs> foolish men afford that. <laughs> Wise men cannot afford to lose not one sheep to follow him. I'm just saying. Always go after even just one. One of your women. One of your employees. Your employees are like men. That are in your team. Your children. Your sons and daughters. Those are your sheep. Don't lose them. Keep them gathered. Don't let them scatter all over the earth mixing with strangers bringing strange things home strange gods strange beliefs strange laws you know so I'm willing to try Almost anything once. <laughs> I'm a good sheep. I follow very well. But when the leader is gone too long, when the leader becomes lost, following the lost, well, the sheep has the right, the other 99 have the right to live. We become basically spoils of war, women, children, employees, become open, easy prey. We are set on the auction block. We're delivered up. We're not even necessarily being caught up by the Lord Jesus Christ or anything. We're just being tossed up, surrendered. To the enemy. <laughs> Women and children right now are being surrendered. But then there's always that flip side. <laughs> what is the flip side of being surrendered? That's the other view or other viewpoints. Anyway, I follow very well. And when the leader is gone too long, has passed away, has walked out, then I must rise up and look out for my bloodline, my spiritual line, my wealth, my legacy. The Madam Sphere of Wisdom. Dr. Leisha the Preacher, the American Afro curriculum of kings and queens of Judah. In Jesus' name, Yeshua, the Messiah, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Great I Am, the Most High. There's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. And every last one of us should be willing to at least try anything once. For him, for his sake. The sake of the kingdom of both heaven and earth for generations to come. For yourself, your ancestors, 
and your offspring. In Jesus' name, the Almighty, the Sacrificial Lamb.